Hello and welcome to another video diary. It hasn't been too long for you to wait. We really have fast forwarded everything through so we can get everything on camera for you. So as you can see, we have our beautiful midnight racer behind us. This is for sale and can be yours. Reluctantly, we want to sell it because we love it so much. It's one of my personal favorites. Hey, it's a beautiful, bike, beautiful, beautiful bike. Valkyrie, as always, knocked it out of the park with the paintwork. However, hang fire for that because I will be doing a separate walk around video on this to give you some real in-depth details and really go over the nuances. So this will be able, you will be able to see this at the Gilbert Revival, 17th to the 18th. That's gonna be on Bare Bones stand. So yes, that's gonna be on Bare Bones distribution stand. They are gonna have some beautiful garments there, including the Age of Glory, boo, stuff. Get down there to buy your stuff. The other date is going to be the 24th of September, where we're going to be at Barnstormers Maidenhead. Yep, you got it. Yeah, Barnstormers yeah. Maidenhead, you're gonna be able to see this, that, and this for coffee, chat, and everything R90 and custom. We're gonna be there till about three o'clock, so get up there early, because, well, you know, there may be a queue, because people love to talk to us. <laughs> and people do love to talk to us, but that's because we love to talk. <laughs> exactly, that's definitely yes. on us. I think maybe that's a 50-50 mix. Anyway, that all told, Roy Milton has something else to talk to you about, which we are also going to have up at Barnstormers. Yeah, absolutely. Out. We're gonna be taking as many as we can. We're hoping the PCA team will be joining us. The Midnight Racer will be there before it then goes on sale officially on the website. We're then also going to ping it. We're hoping to ping it maybe a few different places, maybe Bike Shed, somewhere like that. We'll see what happens. Um, so hopefully you can find it in a few different places. And the other bikes that we're going to be taking up there are going to include our new in-house off-road bike. Um, obviously a complete aside from all the flat track stuff that we spoke about last month. This is going to be a bike that we're actually going to go and use and get dirty and commute on and remind ourselves that we bloody love to ride bikes because sometimes I think cumulatively, Stu and I probably did 150 miles, mm. including road tests last year. Yes. It was slim pickings. And to it be was. honest, it was the year before, pandemic, et cetera, et cetera. But mm. even then, we can't yes. use that as a big excuse. We no, just didn't really can't. go riding. No, but we can say yes to that question that is often asked. Oh, so what bike do you ride? You've got an R90 over yeah. And we're like, no. We well, don't. well, we've, we've we got do, four in the workshop. Yeah. But we've done 50 miles cumulatively yeah. on all four of them. So, so that's what we need to do. Yeah. So we've bought um, an Urban GS, a 2021 model. I'm going to go into that in a little bit more detail because we've got some really cool plans with that too. Yeah, so yeah. without further delay, I'm going to send Stuart over to do a, a workshop walk around with two of our bigger builds that came off the back of doing the Bike Shed show this year. Another video diary means another workshop walk around. We have lots of exciting stuff in here that we weren't able to get into last month, so let's crack on. Starting off with this one. So the eagle-eyed viewers among you may notice this, this, and this. Yeah, that's right. It is a Gen 3, as we call it, a Gen 3 R9T. So 21 onwards. It's the fly-by-wire with the new style throttle bodies and airbox. So this customer contacted us a little while ago and he kind of had a rough idea of what he wanted, but needed a little bit of guidance. And this is where obviously we stepped in and we've had a really, really interesting conversation and journey with this customer so far. So the theme for this bike is Blood Moon or Blood Wolf, I should say. So I should also add that this bike has automatically fallen into our new series of bikes, the Midnight series. So we're going with a super dark paint job on this, but there's gonna be loads of hidden detail, much like our Midnight Racer, under the paintwork. And the guys at Valkyrie have already started to do a fantastic job. The details on this paintwork, I can't really go into too much detail without it being finished because you just thoroughly won't understand the platform that it will be on and how it will look like, but it will look absolutely fantastic. It's got the um, genuine BMW, uh, what is what we call the urban rear cow cover. That's gonna be obviously detailed and part of the Midnight Series paint scheme. Standard tank, but we're gonna fill the side. No, we're not gonna fill the sides in, sorry. We're gonna keep the badge there and we're gonna utilize the badge as part of the Blood Moon theme, as well as the wheel staying, LED, not LED upgrades on the headlight, but LED on the indicators, front and rear, and just give it an overall uplift to make it super dark and super moody. Now, one most important point I must add before we move on to the next bike is, being a 2021 bike, there has been some difficulty with the exhaust system choice on this. However, the customer was insistent that he wanted a two into two exhaust system that finished before the rear wheel. Come into play our PCA, or should I say PC19, two into two exhaust system as seen on the Electrum build at the Bike Shed Show. 
We've done a lot of R&D and a lot of research and a lot of product development and we are very, very happy to say that this bike will be the first 2021 bike of ours that will feature our two into two exhaust system. It's got a cross pipe on it, which we think at the moment is the only one on the market that has the cross pipe because we know how important the cross pipe slash balance pipe is to the running and DBs of the bike. It's going to feature the unit garage end cans, and I believe the whole system is going to be Cerakoted black to keep it nice and moody and go with the Blood Wolf, Blood Moon theme, keeping it part of the Midnight Series package where it's nice and dark. So without further ado, we put that one to one side. As you can see, we've got plenty to do, but let's move on to the next one. Now this one, a very, very exciting addition to the workshop. This is once again, part of our Midnight Series. We are very, very lucky to meet this customer at the bike shed. He saw the Midnight Racer there and approached us and said, the Midnight Racer, I absolutely love it. However, can we take it further? Can we do more with it? Absolutely, we can do more with it. So much like the Midnight Racer, it's gonna have a Midnight style paint job. I'll go into that in a moment, but it's gonna have the Koso LED. Unlike the Midnight Racer, it's gonna have a cowl on the top. It's gonna have one of our PCC work Renan front mug guards available on the web shop as well. Moving on to the paintwork. The midnight scheme is gonna continue through, but it's going to be segued onto an Everest brief. Valkyrie have gone absolutely nuts with this. I saw the paint job the other day, other day and it blew my mind. Rory came up with the idea of overlaying a geometric pattern onto the paint scheme, which is gonna be hidden under a black sort of graphite carbon candy um, lacquer. The guys have gone bananas with it. It looks mind blowing. Keep an eye on the socials for that. We can't wait to show the customer. It's gonna be astonishing. Alongside that, moving to the back of the bike, we're going to have the Urban Rear Cow Unit. Once again, available on the website. It is a genuine BMW product, but it's a plug and play product that looks fantastic. That also is gonna be graced with the customer's number of choice as part of the um, Midnight Racer series. We like to give the customer that unique ID as well as the Midnight Racer paint job or the Midnight Racer darkened paint job. The customer said, I would like to have the two into two exhaust system, the PC19 exhaust system. We have been developing this for a very long time. Like I mentioned on the bike before, unlike that bike, it's gonna have no room for the additional lander sensor, but it is gonna be stainless steel, not Cerakoted, going into some very swish end cans. The overall guise of this bike is going to be astonishing. That allows me to move on very, very nicely to what is going to be the gem, or should I say the jewel in the crown, to complement the paint job on this bike. And that is these outstanding carbon fiber wheels from Rotobox. They are the Rotobox Bullet. And there's not really a huge amount for me to say about these because they look absolutely stunning. Like, look at that for a wheel. That is incredible. You've got carbon fiber weave around the outside, and then you've got what is called carbon chopped toe and that has been um, resin pressed into this shape here uh, ridiculously light ridiculously stylish and is going to look ridiculously at home on a bike with the paintwork and all of the other additional parts on this not much going to waffle about it's just going to look incredible so whilst i'm here i'm going to neatly segue onto something that we've been waiting to come in and that is the PC18 exhaust systems. So the PC18 that we built for BMW Motorrad for the Goodwood Festival of Speed a couple years ago, the exhaust system was very, very popular on that. And off the back of that, we sold two or three pre-production systems to a couple customers and one to a dealership. We have now had our first batch come back in. They will be on the website available for you to buy. They are combined with a unit garage titanium end can and just massively cleans up the lines on the PC18. You have an option of a baffle or a cat that can go in there. So you can control the decibels um, like into how your neighbors like. But those fitted to your R18 just slickens up the bottom of the bike and gives it that real mus muscular look that we wanted for the PC18. Well, with no further ado, I think that's enough talking about the workshop. I've covered all of the good bits on the bikes and we are super excited to see these get done and dusted. So keep an eye on the socials and that's it for this one.
Cool, so the sun's come out and we've gone off-road a little bit to introduce our new uh, workhorse for the uh, PCC workshop. So this is going to be a new build. It's a 2021 Urban GS. Uh, we picked it up off of BMW as an X-Press bike. And the aim with this is basically to go full hard custom on something that's going to look 80s, late 80s, early 90s, off-road, Dakar. We're going to sort of go down the, maybe the Baja route with it. Uh, they've got that synonymous sort of front headlight setup we're going to try and work something like that but obviously being like we are and the way that we do things we're also going to bring loads of inspiration from other bmw builds even cars maybe to make all of this work the aim of it is to go out and about so it's got you know it's got cruise and all the things that the new models come with which means that we can go on tours so we're looking at things like the great miles or the malay miles or the beach races we're going to shoot over to our friends over in wales you know baffle culture and those guys we're going to use it for a bit of touring um our friend does a lot of green lane tours locally as well so we're going to green lane it get it muddy and also convert it into something that looks more sort of like cool and retro as well so it's going to be both a custom and a practical workhorse and i'm really looking forward to it you know i i, I like mud um I like off-road bikes. I love the aesthetic of these. Until recently, I had um, a sort of uh, a DR650 Jebel, which from 1990, which was kind of part of the inspiration for this build. We've already started with the build already, so we've put the unit garage uh, large Dakar tank on there. Decals are just some red vinyl stickers I picked up for a tenner and was just playing around in the garden the other day. So we're just trying different things, what we're going to look for for the paint scheme and such. We've gone with the plus 30 Wilbur's um, rear shock on there as well, just to jack us up. We're going to be sticking some Adriani front forks in there, we think, some um, uh, cartridges, which is going to raise it up 40 mil. So plus 30 here, plus 40 here and bring it up. Again, the, the, the sign off piece on this, once we get to the Baja stage, is going to be the headlights, the big twin massive double headlights. Um, we're going to work out which brands we're going to go with there. But again, there's going to be a nice BMW tie-in we want there as well. Outside of that, we just want it to look a lot like, you know, sort of your traditional, like your Yam, XT600, the 10 arrays, that sort of thing. And we want to get out and do some mileage on it. The rear end's going to have one of two different ways we're going to go at the moment. It's either going to have a big old school, sort of a service thick, sort of 80s style rear end. We might go for a more sort of like modern enduro look, really depends on when we get to that stage. We're not going to do this one quick. It's going to be a case of doing little bit by little bit by little bit. The important part is that we're riding it in between. And, um, and that's what we've got to. So yeah, keep tuned for further updates and we'll, um, we'll keep popping back to it to see what we've done. So website update for September. We finally found a little bit of time in the long summer evenings to spend a couple of hours out in the garden to actually get to a laptop instead of being in the workshop to update some parts. And I'm really glad we have some of the brands that we work with have been producing some great parts over the summer. Uh, I wanted to really highlight the new unit garage offerings, which you can find if you go to the website, go to new in tab across the top, you can find it all there. The unit garage have brought out some really cool R90 and R18 parts this summer. Um, notably the R90, there is now an all-in-one or um, a bracket, external indicator bracketed rear LED light unit, much similar to the Daedalus or the fancy bike things that we previously retailed. They are really cool, super slick, plug and play, come with everything you need in there and can obviously instantly tidy up the bare end on the bike. Additionally, there's some luggage on there, some much bigger, sturdier canvas sort of heritage looking luggage that looks fantastic. And another cool product for the 90 is the new rear fenders. So much in the line of the uh, Wunderlich Wunderbob, it isn't like a big plasticky type thing. It's a really cool metal brushed aluminium finish. It can match your front fender. It's a really, really great product. So check those out on the new in section. Additionally, all of you R18 riders out there, um, Unit Garage have put together a product that's basically something we've not seen on the market so far. A lot of brands have decided to do the, take the rear fender off, chop the back end, make the bike look like a cruiser chopper type vibe. Unit Garage have seen that and gone, well, what can we do that's different? So they've made a product that includes a frame and a bench seat that basically takes the bike from this frame, lob off all the stuff at the back, and it gives you a new frame to give you a new roadster style seat setup. It's fantastic. It makes the R18 look like a big meaty roadster, almost like the large version of an R9T. It's really, really cool. Comes with the LED bar, comes with everything you need to fit in there. You can put seat cowls on there. There's loads of stuff. So head over to the um, new in section on the website, peercitycustom.com and have a quick look at those parts. Do also remember whilst I'm talking about websites that we have peercitycycles.com for all of you who want some inspiration on builds. That's basically where we put uh, almost like an index or a catalog of all the bikes that we've built over the last couple of years. So there's, if you're looking for a bit of inspiration, we generally send people over there to be like, oh, that's cool. How do you get this rear end? And then obviously send us an email, sign on to all the socials and everything else. You've got the Instagram, we've got the YouTube channel, obviously where you're looking at the moment, uh, Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. And that's pretty much this for this month. Um, 
Check us back soon. Try and get to those events we mentioned if you are in the UK. We're going obviously to the flat track race at Greenfield 2 on the 17th and 18th. Um, the bike will be at Goodwood. Uh, we'll be at Barnstormers. We're going to be hanging out with some other people, doing some off-road stuff as well. Keep an eye on that in future and keep an eye on the socials. And there we go. We'll see you soon. Hello and welcome back. It hasn't been too long since our last video. How excited we all are as always. So we have the 